everybody. I hope that you're all okay at home. Now, for today's maths, we are going to be thinking all about another skill that we've been learning this term. So we've thought about our numbers 1 to 10. We thought about our 2D shapes this week. Now we're going to think about our patterns, just like you were doing with Miss Cook. See if we can remember them. So before we do that, though, we're going to run through our numbers and we're going to do that game that we did from earlier in the week. The one where the numbers come up on the screen, you've got to tell me what they are, and then every so often an action will come up as well, and you've got to do the action. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Take a look at my screen. The first number is zero, four, nine. Oh, you've got to do three star jumps. Ready? One, two, three. Well done. What number? Seven, ten, three, six. Oh, you've got to spin four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Well done, everybody. Next number ready? Five, one. Touch your head six times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. What number? Eight. Two. You've got to touch your toes two times. Ready? One, two. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Okay, I hope that your brains are nice and warmed up and your bodies are nice and warmed up now. Right then, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to play a game. Now, this game, I know you've played with Miss Cook as well. It's on Busy Things, and I know that you've been practising it. So I wonder if you are amazing at it. I bet you are. Now, because I think you are so amazing at it, I've gone up to the next level with you. I think you can do level two of this game. Now, when you have a go at this game, maybe have another go at level one again, and then have a go at level two and see if you can do it. So let's see what level two is all about. So in level two, what you have to do is not only do you have to look at the colours of our little monsters, but you've also got to look at how big they are so let's have a look at this pattern. We've got one, two, three different colours in this pattern. We've got yellow, red and blue. Wow, that's quite tricky. But also we've got some tall monsters and some short monsters. So we've got to figure out which monster is going to go here. And we've got to figure out what colour he is and how big he is. So the best way to do this, let's have a think. Let's go to the last monster and see what he is. He's a blue monster who is also tall, a tall blue monster. Now let's have a look, see if we can spot any tall blue monsters. <gasps> There's some here. Okay, so he's a tall blue monster and he is. So how do we know which one he is? Well, if we look at the one beforehand, the one before is also red. So we're looking for a red monster and then a blue monster. <gasps> can you spot them? There you go, a red monster and a blue monster comes next? It's another blue monster, isn't it? And is it tall or short? It's tall, isn't it? So we're going to go, can you see yellow, red, blue, blue, yellow, red, blue, blue, yellow, red, blue, blue. Okay, so we're going to paint him blue. Okay. And then are well, we going to make him tall or short? Do you remember this blue one? Is it tall or short? It's tall, isn't it? So we're going to make him tall. Ooh. And then down the pole he goes. Let's see if we've got it right. We have. Well done. That was a tricky one. I told you that level two is really tricky, but I reckon you can do it. Okay, let's look at another pattern. Wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness me. Right. What colours can you see here? I can see red and yellow. There's only one yellow, look. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. So we've got red, 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 red. How many reds is that in a row? One, two, three, four. Then we've got a yellow. Then we've got another red, 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 red. Oh my goodness me. So we've got a big red, a tall red, then three short reds. And then a tall yellow, a tall red, three short reds. So what came after the three short reds? Let's look at the ones over here. 
three short reds and then a, a yellow. Okay, so we know he's got to be yellow, don't we? I'm going to make him yellow. Now, what size is he going to be? What size is this yellow? So what size is our yellow going to be? He's tall as well, isn't he? So we're going to make him tall. Ooh. Let's see if we're right. Again, it is a tricky one, but you're doing really, really well. <gasps> Yay, we got it right. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, now this is really tricky, but you're doing such a great job, so keep going. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay. What colours have we got here? We've got two different colours this time. We've got red and blue. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got red, blue, blue, blue. Red, 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 blue, 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 red. Oh my goodness. Okay, right then. So let's have a look what the last one is. The last one is a red one, isn't it? It's a tall red one. And the one before that is a blue. So we know we've got to look for a tall red who is stood next to a blue. Can you see a tall red? Is this tall red stood next to a blue? No, it's not, is it? What about this one? A tall red stood next to a blue. It is. So that must be the same as our one. A tall red stood next to a blue. So we know that it's going to be the next one because we've got blue, red. What comes next? Blue, red. It's another red, isn't it? So we know he's going to be red. Okay. Now what size is he going to be? Remember, we're looking at this one to show us what our one's going to look at look like. Because you've got one, two, three blues, then a red, and then another red. And over here, we've got one, two, three blues, a red, and another red is going to be here. And this red is tall, so it's going to be another tall one. Brilliant. Let's see if we're right. We are, look, because this looks the same as over here. Fantastic, everybody. You did such a good job with that. Well done. Give yourself a big thumbs up because that was hard, but you did so well. See if you can have a go at that Busy Things game. As I say, start on level one. And if you think you've mastered level one and you are brilliant at it, then have a go at level two where you've got to think about the different sizes. Now, we're going to have another look at another pattern now. And this pattern uses our shapes. I wonder if we can remember our shapes from yesterday. Let's have a look. So, in this game, bring yourself over there, we've got some different shapes. Can we have a look at what these shapes are? Ready? We've got a square, triangle, circle, rectangle, and another square. Okay, now let's start with this first pattern. Now, this first pattern just has one, two different shapes in. So we know that the next shape has got to be the same as the first one. So we've got a blue square and then a green triangle. What's the next one going to be? Blue square, green triangle. It's going to be a blue square, isn't it? So we are going to put a blue square there. There we go. Blue square, green triangle, blue square. It's going to be a green triangle, isn't it? So we're going to put a green triangle here. What's going to come next? Blue square, green triangle, blue square, green triangle, blue square. Well done. What's going to come next? It's our green triangle again, isn't it? So we're going to put our green triangle and then it's going to be a blue square, absolutely. Then a green triangle again. We're going to keep going. The next one's going to be a blue square. And then the last one's going to be a green triangle. Well done. Ooh. It is. It's going to be a green triangle, isn't it? There we go. Look, can you see our pattern? It repeats. It carries on. It goes blue square, green triangle, blue square, green triangle, all the way along. Well done. Right, let's have a go at the next one. So this next one, again, has two shapes, doesn't it? 
It's got our red circle and our yellow rectangle. So what's going to come next? Red circle, yellow rectangle, red circle, isn't it? So let's pop in our red circle. What's going to come next? After the red circle is there, yellow rectangle, well done. Then it's going to be a red circle again, fantastic. And then it's going to be a yellow rectangle. Next one, what's the next one going to be? Another red circle. Now, I think I know the next one. It's going to be another red circle, isn't it? It's going to look like that. Am I right? Oh, doesn't quite look right, does it? Circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle. Oh, it's not a circle, is it? Right, I'll put that one back. What should it be? It should be a rectangle. Ah, okay, I'll put that one in there then. So then what happens? Ah, that's where our circle goes. I just missed the rectangle. And then we finish off with another rectangle. Ah, that looks better, doesn't it? Our repeating pattern. Right, one more. Now this one down here has one, two, three different shapes in it. So we've got to remember that our three shapes repeat. So we've got our big blue square, our little purple square, and our big green triangle. Big blue square, little purple square, and a green triangle. What comes next? What's the first shape in our pattern? going to be the blue square isn't it so we're going to put a blue square in there then what's going to happen what comes after the blue square a little purple square and then a triangle absolutely what comes after the triangle it's our big square again isn't it then it's going to be our little square and then what comes after the little square? The triangle, absolutely. So what's our last shape going to be? What comes after the triangle? It's the big square again, isn't it? Absolutely, well done everybody. That's fantastic. So we've now done patterns with colors and we've also done patterns with shapes. Well done everybody. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I'd like you to do at home, please. So like I said earlier, have a go at that um, game on busy things. Start on level one and then go on to level two. We've also got another shape game that you can have a go at. Now, if you go onto the Top Marks website, you will find lots of different games. If you go onto uh, Maths and Early Years, you'll find lots of different games. And I'd like you to find this shape pattern game. It's got a picture of a train on. If you press play game and then it will look like this. Now, if you go on to level one, what happens is a train comes along with lots of different shapes on its carriages. And at the top, you've got a pattern and you need to figure out what the last shape will be. So we've got a square, circle, square, circle, square, circle. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a square, isn't it? So then you've got to click the square and see if you're right. Absolutely right, let's have a go at one more. We've got triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, the triangle. But what colour triangle is it? It's a pink one, isn't it? Well done. So I'd like you to have a go at some games for me on busy things and top marks doing some patterns. Let us know how you get on. We'd love to see some pictures and have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.